Hello everyone, this is Bairvi, a mixed media artist and today I am here to share with you my Ganzai Tambi uh, Art Nouveau set. Mm, so I had, a, I had found this at a pen store at Stockholm and uh, I really love the shades that were available uh, in this particular pack and I got a, a spare one, <laughs> a loose one as well and I am going to be swatching it for you and we'll do it in two kinds of papers this is uh, the the one that you see right now is a, a, a cheap 120 gsm paper and the other one that i have just placed is a watercolor paper which is 300 gsm and uh, uh, this particular uh, sketchbook the watercolor sketchbook is from lilo roche and uh, from india and you now see me swatching on both sheets to i just want to compare how they dry on each of the sheets of paper and uh, as you see me uh, uh, swatching them i i saw that ganzai tambi in general was drying a little uh, uh, it took a little longer to dry and all the more on watercolor paper it took more time to dry so I have now come to the fifth row and after I swatch, I slowly start naming them. I love the names that they have given for certain colors. I, I mean, I don't know why, but I like them, yeah. So now we are naming the saffron yellow, then the green gold, and flax beige, then the ecru beige, then pale pink, and coral pink the next one is potter's pink I, I like how muted that shade is and then you have a jing bang vermilion the next one is alizar and crimson and mauve tope this is old mauve grayish blue and turquoise, I mean cobalt, turquoise light, and pale aqua, cobalt green, billiard green, I like the billiard board I thought, so, and then shadow green, pea green, then you have ivy green and that's green grey. I love the green grey. It has quite the muted shade. This one is a beige grey. Yellow brown. Mars yellow. The Mars yellow is another beautiful shade. Venetian red. And the last one is olive green. So now you can... Uh, I'll show you both the swatches. This one took longer to dry than the other uh, sheet on the 120 GSM. And this was close to a glossy finish and the watercolor paper had a matte finish on it. And with now with this, I want to make a painting. So, um, so this painting is done almost a week after the swatch that I did. And um, uh, my son and I were reading a book by Dr. Seuss and that's where I got this idea. Uh, we were reading the 10 apples up on top and we had such a fun time reading it and we were laughing and counting and we had a, a lot of fun. And so I wanted to draw kind of a mommy camel who which was uh, trying to balance the 10 apples up on top. So um that was the inspiration for this drawing and it, the pain uh, since i'm a mixed media artist i cannot possibly just stick to paints but i stuck to paint only the gunzai tambi paints for this particular piece so uh after um, so i had so since a week had lapsed i again swatched on a small sheet of paper what colors i wanted to choose i mixed a little bit on the palette and then I applied the base coat and 
after which um, this is just a, a beautiful camel mom i mean i wouldn't possibly i mean i would have never worn eye shadow or lipstick but i loved trying it out on this camel and it was like one sassy camel mom was enjoying and enjoying herself balancing the 10 apples on top of her head mm-hmm. now i've given one base coat trying to assess which places to apply the dark uh, venetian red you will see that after i have uh, after it has dried the dark venetian red has somehow dried a little lighter than what it was when it when i applied it now i'm quickly just erasing the apples because i felt the marks would in normal watercolors i have always seen that the pencil marks come out which uh, sometimes i like it sometimes i don't so i don't want them to come out on the apple so i erase the lines um no i'm coloring the uh, apples in the beautiful vermilion this is one of the most jing bang colors in that particular palette because all, most of the shades if you see they are very muted colors except for the vermilion slowly coloring the apples if you were to see this on actual um, you know this is uh, fastened a bit but if you were to actually see it would be a lot slower i painted all these apples and then when i showed it to my son he was so happy and he was like you actually you you've drawn the 10 apples balancing on he actually called it a giraffe though he didn't call it a camel but yeah i'm happy <laughs> and now um i i think i'm applying some of the uh, what pink did i apply yeah i think the pale pink yeah i applied the pale pink and the mm, and the alizarin crimson for the darker shade is lipstick then once again venetian red for the nostril and like kajal uh like the kajal for the lower eyelid i applied the venetian red for the lower eyelid now we skip on to the next i have applied a background layer with uh, ecru beige and now i have skipped over to color pencils like i told you i am a mixed media artist so i love my color pencils and crayons and everything on top of my paints layer of paints or marker whatever i give uh the color pencil that i am using right now is a mm, um the da- derwent ink tints dark chocolate and i i also use another one which is a matte brown i don't know when i use it but i use it i have kept them all ready so that i don't miss out on anything while i name it for you now what i am using is a luminance permanent red to give a little more room for her lips and that one was a purplish red from luminance if i missed out anything on the naming you can always ask me you know this is a perlin brown again from luminance set karandash luminance you can always ask in the comments and i will let you know if you if you feel i've used something else again the perlin brown yes that is 
no like no that is the purplish red yes and that now this one is one of my favorites the dark indigo from luminance it's close to black but it has such a rich it's such a rich color to give you know the darkest of darks you can even go dark chocolate that is available with derwin drawing or with uh, derwin tintins i also used a derwin drawing sanguine for the eyelid i think I have not mentioned that. Yeah, that's once again the purplish red. I didn't exactly want to place the ties that a camel usually has, which has been, you know, like a domesticated one, but I wanted to give her some sort of decoration, so I added a little mm, veil mask like just the edge nothing on top of her face though interestingly we had seen camels uh, for real a couple of weeks ago we had been to a wildlife park here in sweden the cold martin park it was it was a wonderful experience and we had a night stay there and we thoroughly enjoyed it we explored the park for over Three to four hours, and the park, the parts of the park which were open, so we saw so many animals like snow leopard and uh, red panda, rhinoceros, and the camels were really beautiful. We saw a Bactrian camel actually with the two humps, and it was so much fun. The children thoroughly enjoyed, and so did I. So I was drawing this camel brought back memories from the Cole Martin trip as well. Um, so now what I was using is an anthraquino, sorry, anthraquinoid pink from the luminance range. This that is one of my favorite pinks as well. I have too many favorite colors. You'll keep hearing, ah, oh, this is my favorite favorite. And that that I gave the chiku for the. I mean, chiku is a word that I took from Kavita Ar Arvind. You should follow her by the way. Go check her out. And um, I drew the cheeks for the camel with the help of anthraquinoid only. It's such a beautiful, subtle pink. Now oh, again, I'm using the madder brown from Derwin Tintins. So before I came to this pose, I actually tried out a few poses, practice sketches for the camel. And... Um, uh, that was also fun. I did some quick uh, sketches with uh, a Sharpie gel pen and then I colored them out with Karandash Neo Color 2 range and I will be showing them to you just prior to uh, uh, finishing off this video. I'll show you my um, practice sketches as well. Just adding a few stars to um, give a little oomph for the background it was a little dull i felt and adding just those two stars i felt made the background a lot more richer and beautiful so now yes these are the practice sketches i really like the small ones that i drew as a you know long shots of the camels as well but these were the poses and i took one pose out of which out of which i posted this so i hope you enjoyed this camel drawing with me along um, using the gunsai tambi i hope to see you all soon in my next youtube video tata bye bye